Hey everybody, Torgo here, playing some Minecraft. Look at this beautiful day out. So you may notice there's some weird trees about. And this is from the mod that we're playing. This is Feed the Beast Unleashed, mm -hmm. and we've got some uh, we got some extra mods installed as well. So one of the main ones we have is Mo Creatures. Um, that's not normally with. Uh, the unleashed pack. So we've got some some crazy mobs around here. What is this? This guy's got a hat on. And I need this hat. Give me your hat. Give me your hat. Okay, so we just unlocked a hat. Uh, so as you can see, we also have the hat mods installed. So if I pull up the hats right now, I'm wearing. Look at this. I'm wearing a tower hats a pillar a towering pillar of hats hat. Um, you know, if there's birds, there's there's cool stuff. There's goats, all kinds of stuff. So. Um, this was, I want to take you on a tour. We've been playing for a couple months now, and, and we've built up our area, and we've got, you can see on my hotbar, i got some, uh, you know, some wands, i got a wand of fire, and uh, excavation. So I'll go over a little bit of, of what we've been doing and what we had to, uh, uh, you know, what, uh, I've been playing with relics a lot. I'm stuttering a little bit, but basically I've been playing with relics a lot, uh, and we've gone quite a bit. So this was originally um, the first house we built. Um, I, we left the ruins of it. I was going to take the whole thing down, and, and relics was kind of attached to it. So we left up a, a relic of, of where we used to be. Um, and then we put our nether portal in here. Uh, I hate having nether portals near where you actually play because they're so darn noisy. Um, so we put that in here. And also right next to this um, is the twilight portal as well. So uh, the twilight portal is here. These trees have grown up because I actually used the trees to... Um, spawn the, the twilight portal. Um, so, ooh, panther, he looks angry. Uh, so, um, Relics has actually been working a lot with the Railcraft mm -hmm. stuff, so he's working on, on getting this system up and running. And I've been working on more of the magic aspect. So, uh, I'll just show you real quick a couple of things. I've been I've been going through the Thalmanomicon trying to get some unlocked stuff. So, I've unlocked quite a bit of things. I, I, you know, I still got a long way to go. So, I've got I've got a few of the wands. I got some left. You know, I unlocked the Infernal Thurnus, the, the the Traveler Boots and the Paving Stones. Um, down into here, I'm working on the Golem stuff. Um, I, I really want to get some of this um, Golemancy um, working. I don't have, I haven't created any of these guys, and I don't have unlocked any of the um, stones for the center, the animation course. Um, so I want to get that going at some point. You know, and I've locked, unlocked some stuff with bees and that kind of stuff, which you know I'll probably never get to uh, to doing magic bees. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the bees. I, I tried to do it one time playing Feed the Beast and it's just it's a lot of work for not a lot of reward. So um, so basically the reason uh, we moved from that house is we kept getting attacked every night. Um, one of the things with the Mo Creatures mod is ogres. We actually disabled them because they were destroying everything and we disabled the uh, mob griefing because everything we built just kept getting destroyed by these Mo Creatures mobs and it was a uh, it almost felt like a, a mistake to have this many creatures just because um, you know they were just wrecking everything we kept building and it was it was getting really frustrating so um, we disabled the mob griefing but decided to leave the mobs on and disabled ogres altogether. Um, so there are still some mobs that are kind of uh, difficult and hard to deal with. Um, uh, the uh, oh look a hat. The um, what am I trying to say? The something. The werewolves. They're they're pretty tough. Um, so werewolves are kind of tough. And it's like a pork pie hat on a pig. <laughs> look at that grumpy. That's a cool looking hat. Maybe I'll try him. Let's see. Uh, I, I didn't. Hello. Reported. Mm. Overdose? No, no, no. No. My car. Oh, there it is. <laughs> nah, it doesn't look that good, but it's kind of funny. Look at that. These are cool. I mean, I got so many hats, but I'm gonna stick with the towering pillar of hats. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, so we've been just collecting hats, but um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, uh, werewolves are kind of tough, and there's some other stuff. So basically, my idea was to kind of make uh, almost an Ewok village in the sky. So um, just looking from here, you can't really tell that there's too much up there, but uh, let's let's go take a tour. There's actually quite a bit um, built up here, so um, basically there's... Ooh, you heard the sentry. 
Um, I've had two sentries up here for a long time. They keep knocking this one over, even though he's in the cage. And they, uh, both of them. So if you don't get here in time, I've actually had to make quite a few. Um, they're real easy to make. It's just some obsidian and some iron and, a, and one piece of redstone. So uh, super easy, cheap, inexpensive sentries. Uh, and they do a great job of protecting the, the door down here when you're trying to get in and you got ten things following you. They'll um, kind of aggro it off and uh, help kind of save you. Yeah, you know, we died a lot of times just trying to set our base up. So, um, but Like I said, Relics has been working on rail stuff, so our ladder is actually this is a rail. Uh, you can see right there, elevator track. I enabled the the hint tips or whatever it is on the top of the screen there. So when you hover over stuff, it tells you what it is. Um, so basically, uh, this first platform, all the machines. This is all Relics machines. Um, and then I have a couple over here. These are the kind of machines that he does not like. These are the older style. Um, so I've got a macerator and an extractor. I use this for um, basically just for rubber. Um, and uh, he said there's some way to do it, but he, he just keeps messing with this... Uh, system over here and turn the power on and power off and off and on and off and on so I haven't been messing with it over here just leaving it be he's got some kind of redstone energy cell that he's pumping up with energy using some steam engine stuff and water and stuff so um, I haven't really messed with any of that stuff over here too much uh, he's got the rolling machine for his railcraft stuff there's energy stuff there um, and then there's uh, the rail stuff that this is still a work in progress. He's got this, uh, what is this stuff? Wooden posts. This is some kind of railcraft um, add-on stuff that takes you back over to um, the the portal over there. And then this one actually takes you... Uh, funny thing is, our nether portal is a little bit weird. Um, we haven't moved it, or, and it hasn't been destroyed, but for some reason you go in over there, you actually come out uh, somewhere on the beach over here. Um, and you can, you can use either one of those. We'll go to the same portal uh, in the nether, and uh, it'll always take you back out this one. So um, he likes the one over here by the Twilight Portal, so he built uh, a path over there uh, simply because that's where both of them are. And then we needed some way to get back if, if we happen to come through, uh, which you'll always end up coming through there for some reason. So, um, And then I have uh, just basic, there's some cotton here, some uh, sugar cane for books and, and uh, paper and sugar, obviously, uh, and then some cactus. And then we'll walk this way, infinite water source out of leaves, and then you walk down this way, and there's a little, I just harvested this, so there isn't any, uh, there's some uh, pumpkin patch here. Um, this guy right here, little little coke oven, so you can do some cold coke, um, just right in the floor here. And like I, I said down when we were below, it's hard to tell that too much is going on. I tried to cover everything up with leaves, um, you know, went through a bunch of shears trying to get all those leaves and stuff, but... Just try and kind of hide this and make it look natural. <gasps> Is that a Pikachu hat? For real? Should I go get it? Oh, it's night time. I wonder if he'll still be there in the morning. I doubt it. Let's go sleep and see if we can get a Pikachu hat. That's crazy. I'm wearing an ash skin, you know. Kind of funny. Alright, let's see. Uh, and then I'll, we'll have to continue the tour if I can get this hat. Cool hat, cool hat. Oh, he's still there. <gasps> he's still there. I don't think we got the hat. The silver skeleton got me. Ah, oh, jeez. Now we gotta go back down. How did he get me? I still saw the Pikachu dude was there, so... Hopefully we'll be able to sneak down and still get him. Two of them? Why are there two? Silver skeletons. It's daylight out. Stop it. I'm dead again, I'm dead again, no. <laughs> Remember when I said the milk creature stuff was hard? Oh, come on. Come on, guys. I just wanted to get a Pikachu hat. It's not that bad. I gotta be mean. Alright, let's kill this spider. Yeah. 
All right. Well, we got the we got this the thing. Right, so. All right. Cool. Whew. Did we get most of our stuff? We'll have to take inventory here in a second after we uh, find us a safe spot and make sure we got all our stuff. Uh, oh, some stuff. Let's see what's down here. What is this? Slime ball? We don't need slime. Uh, all right. I think we got most of our stuff. All right. Whew. Sorry, guys. That was a that was a crazy detour in here and be safe for a second. Ah, take inventory of all of our stuff. So we got our boots back, our um, pants, and our chest plate. Put this in here. Let's organize for a second. Got our sword. Got our pick. Got our axe. Put this away. Put this away. Did we got Thalmanomicon? Yes. And our torches and a steak. And other than that, I don't care. Cool. Uh, we got all abyssal stone. I'm actually working on a project right now. I need a bunch of abyssal stone. That's why I have a bunch of that in my inventory. So, um, speaking of which, I've actually been cooking it off. Let's make sure. Abyssal block, 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 blocky block. And I cooked off two more stacks. All right, cool. Okay, whew. So, all right, so this was the machine level. Uh, if we go up one more, this is our bedroom level. So you actually saw us here for a second. There's a there's a way around stairwise, but that's so much quicker to just use a tree. So you can come up um, through the stairs and come up the the curved stairs. Come up. It's just a cool look for the bedroom. I really like every once in a while just walking up here because it looks neat. But the stairs are just so much more convenient. So and then up here, um, just easy conveniences. This is like building blocks and a couple weapons and, and tools. Um, this was the stuff for the uh, build. What's the What's the crazy build tool stuff? Like a uh, tinker. Tinker's construct or something? Table? What's that stuff? Like a stencil table and all that stuff where you can... Well, I don't remember the name of it. There's a assembly table and a casting table and all that stuff. Um, whatever the name of that thing is. There's the mod that you need all the pieces to build your, your tools. So we've got some of those. And then this is uh, mob drops food and, that, and the like. Um, so that kind of stuff goes in here. Uh, I, I uh, enchanted a new sword and I got fire aspect, which I actually kind of like because when I kill um, cows and pigs and that kind of stuff, it cooks it, which is fantastic. Perfect for what I want. Uh, let's put these tools in here. The werewolves drop a lot of these tools, which, you know, you think, okay, wooden, wooden swords, wooden hose, just throw it away. Who cares? Nobody needs it. Um, it actually has the the aspect for the tool, the tool aspect, I forget what it's called, uh, <laughs> toolium, I don't, I don't know, whatever it is, um, when you're researching stuff, sometimes you need the actual tools, so, um, not this apparently, some wands need it, no, nope, that's tell them, there you go, instrumentum, that's what it is. Um, so some wands actually need that, so so having those just lay around for free. I don't have to build them, I just have a few of them um, for research and for building ones that you know. It's handy. Um, so I, I found a portal gun in a dungeon. I actually have um, waypoints, so if we look at the creeper spawner. Where is he? Creeper spawner. Okay, so right over there, down pretty far uh, underground. Um, there's a creeper spawner in a dungeon. So the the dungeon had a chest in it, and it had the portal gun. This is actually really expensive to make a portal gun. Uh, you need you need um, I think it's six wither skeleton skulls because you got to kill a wither to get the. Let's see. Let's just look because let's see portal gun regular portal gun takes the miniature black hole and the miniature black hole takes a nether star and uh, I thought it was something else too that we needed I thought we needed two of them. Alright, well anyway, you you need the nether star which takes um, wither skeleton skulls and some soul sand um, uh, so anyway 
I got it for free, so we didn't have to go get any weather skeleton skulls. Um, the ne the Nether in this mod is almost impossible because of uh, mo creatures. There are so many creatures there that uh, kill you very very quickly. Um, so that's really really end game. Hey, look, Runny Babbit. Uh, that's my my rabbit. If you right click him, he, go he gets on your head. He and you can walk around with them. Apparently, if you have one on your head and you ride a horse, you ride a lot faster. I don't know. Uh, so then we have um, the the raspberry and blueberry bush, and a way down this way. You can walk down here, and we have enchanting and my um, silverwood trees. So silverwood leaves and silverwood logs, and enchanting. This is not max. I've been collecting um, pages for books and stuff. Um, but at least you know it's a it's a good start, and then we have, uh, and and this is a we'll, we'll put some more stuff on here. Some I don't know, I'll put an anvil up here or something, and then we have the uh, the mage house. So over here, beautiful little mage hut. We've got my arcane work table. This is what I started with, and then we moved up to the um, the bigger one, the arcane stone table. You got the uh, you know where you learn spells, the uh, regular. Learning table, whatever this. What's this thing called? What's he, what's he called? Scribe, scribe table. So there's uh, some scribing tools on the table. This is where I keep all the stuff I can just throw in there um, to uh, start learning something new. You, I'm sure you guys have all seen this before, but just as an example. So if I want to learn something new, you throw in something that's got some different uh, aspects, and you keep clicking. So obviously now I need lignum. I'm not going to use this for lignum. Because there's some stuff that's way more attainable to, that has lignum in it, uh, like oak saplings. So then you just take these, put some oak saplings in there, uh, click on through until you are you got it. And now I know that I'm learning Acts of the Stream. Um, so you need to keep guessing. I'm assuming it's going to be the instrumentatum or whatever the instrument tool is. There. So I would take like a stone hoe, throw this guy in here. Hit learn until you're like, uh oh, something's coming, and then you're, it's probably instrument on them, so, um, anyway, I'll, I'll uh, continue learning that, but, then you come in here, I've got, um, you know, some, some, uh, enchanted fabric, I've been working on this, this takes a lot of string to make the enchanted fabric, um, because this takes, uh, four string and a piece of wool each, so, string for me, I've, I've, I've been just using the cotton, but we only have four plants, so really, uh, you know, if I want to speed this up, I need more cotton plants. Uh, I have new boots, boots of the travel. These make you uh, run better, jump farther, fall, and all that kind of stuff um, without taking damage, that kind of stuff. So, move faster than normal, take small steps in your stride, which means you probably run up one block uh, things, allow you to jump high and fall farther, and you can run, go through water a lot quicker. Um, so. Anyway, uh, I want to get a whole set, so there's pants that go along with this, and I want to get those, the Goliath leggings, which take a lot less damage, that kind of stuff. So I want to get a whole set before I start wearing it. That's just me. All right, so, uh, and then we got one more thing, a secret project, and then and then we'll end the tour and we'll, uh, we'll um, you know, I, th I think we'll, I'm going to start recording some more of this. So we'll go through here, and this is my secret. Relics does not know about this, actually. Uh, this is my black castle. So the tree house you can see is about 400 meters that way. I've been working on the black castle. So this is why I've been saving up and, and uh, smelting this abyssal stone. Um, I'm working on, on a, a large scale castle over here. So this is just a base hut. I'm going to put some spires that go up pretty high and come around and go over to here and have uh, bridges and that kind of stuff. And, Gonna make a complex out of the black castle idea, and I want to only use this abyssal stone uh, for the walls. So it's it seems like it's almost difficult to figure out what's a doorway and not. I really like the the uh, feel of this black castle. So this is I want to eventually move all my magic over to my black castle, and because uh, relics really he, he's not a fan of the magic stuff. He tolerates me over there doing it. But, uh, you know, when I start messing with the flux in the environment and stuff like that, he's going to get annoyed. So I want to do it over here. Not too close to the house, but have my own uh, area that, that feels cool still, like I'm still doing some cool magic. So, um, so yeah, that's been, a, that's been a tour of what, what we've done so far with, uh, with Feed the Beast, what we're, what we're working on, what we're doing. Uh, oh, I want to get a, a black door, too. I, I need to, to find um, 
let's see. Door. There is Ebony. Either Ebony or Owen, Owen Gay. Um, I'm not sure. I don't want to use iron or reinforce or anything. Maybe an arcane door. I, what's an, how do you make an arcane door? I'm not sure. Ooh. How do you make it? Arcane, arcane door? No? Maybe not? Maybe? Maybe, maybe later? I, I don't know. So we'll have to look that up. It doesn't appear to be a recipe here. So, all right. Well, uh, this has been Thwargo. It's been the Black Castle. It's been the uh, the Tree House. It's been rails and stuff. It's been magic. It's been feed the beast, guys. Feed the beast unleashed. All right. Well, uh, until next time. Bye.